What are the five things that he needs to share with you if you're not going to read the DFUs? What are the, what are the most important things, features with your TED need? Pre preparation. 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 Preparation is everything. Right. Preparation, the, the staging space for you where the ultrasonic tip goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the other one is where where do you put the ultrasonic tip for the troughing? Uh, on the inner wall. On the inner wall, critical. And that trough needs to be at least 180 on the inside. Um, how does length make a difference in file retrieval? Uh, about one third of the file length. Say that again? One third. One third of the file length. Okay. Um, Oh, you mean the trough, the depth yeah, of the trough. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I was talking, okay. You are talking about the semicircular semi space? Right, okay, okay. It has yeah. to be more than 180 degrees. Right, and Big. you said one third of the file length. Yes, okay. yes, at the same time, yes. Cool. Um, uh, so what about length? What, what about files that are longer than 4.5 millimeters? Uh, the coverage doesn't affect the outcome, so uh, if the instrument is longer than 4.5 millimeters, uh, you need a loop to get these men down. Right. So this is the 20% of the cases that you're gonna need to loop in. You're gonna use the ultrasonics in all of them. If it's longer than 4.5, you'll find it difficult to get out without the loop. And uh, if you try to use the loop without what? Uh, you break the loop. What's supposed to happen before you use the loop? Uh, the instrument has to be really loose. Yes, as he says, dancing. Be yeah, because uh, the, the loop is not designed to put the broken instrument out by force. It will not pull the file out. It will only capture it when it just is bumping up against the outside of the curvature and just won't come out. So you just put the little guy in there, but if you try to use the loop ever without it loose, it will break the loop and the file yes, won't yes. come out. The preparation is everything, very essential. Without the preparation, you cannot remove the instrument. It's true. Once you can see the file edge, uh, you're halfway there. Yes. Okay, anything else? Give me another uh, thing they must know if they're not going to read the DFUs. Yeah. Um, maybe uh, uh, you need to sharpen the tip every time you use it. Because, True. Yeah, instead of increasing the power setting, you need to sharpen the tip to maintain the efficiency of cutting denting. Uh, yes, and one of the most important things we forgot to mention is if you turn the power setting up on one of these tips for uh, more than two or three, and you hold it in the in, in air without touching something to dampen the, the resonance, they're just gonna immediately blow apart. So it's gotta be very low power. You have to touch something when you're using them and you never leave the, your foot of the foot pedal in a continuous mash uh, manner. You always pulse it on and off because that reduces the heat produced so it uh, doesn't detemper the stainless steel on that tip. And, and remember the movement of the tip it goes like this, it's a linear motion. So remember the direction of the, the tip. So it's good to remember that. Yes. Right. Okay. Otherwise you will break it by cyclic fatigue. Um, if I remember uh, your uh, lecture from uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. one of the most important things is, is can you see the file, the broken file edge? Mm -hmm. You can see the broken file edge after your staging, your preparation. Yes. Um, you have how much of a better chance of getting it out than if you can't see it? Um, it's not predictable. Okay. Yeah. If you can't see it, it's not predictable. No. But if you can see it, it's predictable? 100%. Because you know what you are doing. I used to think you was, you know, full of it, but it's 100%. Yeah, 100%.